Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. I am waiting for some people to join the live stream and I uh, want to give an update on some issues. Hi guys, okay there you go, it's slowly starting to fill in here. Hope you're all doing well. I just want to give an update on some stuff. Um, a few days ago I posted the video about this uh, threat of a mining company wanting to come in and um, yeah, do, do some testing if there are minerals in the ground and all of that. Hi everybody, glad you're tuning in. Anyway, um, there's nothing new really yet but um, there has been a radio interview done from one of our neighbors, so we have raised awareness um, on the internet. There has been an article in the uh, regional newspaper that uh, was, I think, in yesterday's paper and all of that. So we are going to try to raise awareness. But um, if I've understood it correctly, um, a decision if they will get the license to do the testing will first um, be made in the end of August now. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I will definitely keep all of you guys um, updated. Um, we will also do a little bit of a Q&A here. So I see some people are coming with questions already. I have one more update though that I wanted to give you guys real quick. And that is that, um, you know, we have two pigs and we have now decided that we will slaughter those pigs so there will be a video coming up um, at the the middle the end of August where we will um, where we will process the pigs actually we won't do that ourselves we will bring them in to um, to a butcher shop a little one on a on a little farm not far from here and then we will make some ham and sausage and all of that so that's gonna be a really really awesome video so yeah let me answer some questions uh, there there's some questions about this whole situation with the mining company and all of that so you know th this is a very slow process and everything and obviously obviously we're trying to um, um, raise a lot of awareness already but you know if this company should get the um, license to do the testing they would um, have three years I think to to do all of this testing and then um, yeah they they basically have the right to build roads take down some forests drill holes and all of that and if they would get the license after that to do the actual mining then everybody in the area would have to move and um, I mean we would get money for uh, the land and stuff I don't know how that would you know what value that would be or something but um, you know it's the, the the thing is that the land has a value in itself it's a family home and all of that and, and we are you know building topsoil doing the permaculture method and all of that so it's just not a pretty thing anyway and and it's right by the lake they would contaminate the lake and all of that so yeah um, but I, I will keep you guys updated on that uh, I saw another question somebody asked who owns the homestead and uh, the homestead is um, still owned by my dad and my wife and I um, run a business on the homestead and we um, yeah we basically rent land and some machines from him as well but it's we're several families living on the homestead so we help each other with a lot of work the cows for example is kind of everybody's uh, business like that yeah let's see here if I get some more um, um, how much will it cost to have the pig slaughtered? It seems like it will be about 700 Swedish crowns um, plus sales tax per pig, uh, which is a decent price, I believe. Yeah, so, so feel free to ask some questions. I'm trying to answer some for you here. Um, and can spend some time here. Yeah, you know, I, I'm, I just want to say thank you also for all you guys' support in this video where I shared about this. Um, that was really overwhelming. Thank you so much 
we really appreciate how you guys are really um, on our side and willing when it comes to it to help out. Um, at, sadly, there were some comments that just also spread hatred. You know that that's not my point with this. I don't want to, um, you know, stir hatred in people towards different things. A lot of people just got political, and and you know I don't really want to get into that. But yeah, thank you so much, guys. I see another question. Um, any progress with the bull? Yeah, we have been. Um, we had the bull with the cows now for a couple weeks, and um, this morning my oldest son looked out of the window. He's like, "What's the bull doing there, Papa?" And uh, he was just um, producing a calf, hopefully with one of the cows. So that kind of led to an interesting morning conversation. But yeah, the bull seems to be doing his job just fine. <laughs> So we hope to have a bunch of calves um, next year. What size is the homestead? It's about 60 acres, 40 acres forest and about 20 uh, pastures and fields. And then we are farming to neighbor farms as well. Let's see here. Yeah, you know, Sally, any word about Sally? I just don't know. We'll just have to see um, if she'll be with Calf. And then in the spring, uh, we'll see. Um, if, if she's not, she'll um, will be slaughtered. How much does a Highland Bull cost? Well, it's different. You know, I think you can buy some Highland Bulls here for around $1,000. Some cost up to 2000 But we are just renting this bull, and we're going to pay about $40 per calf he produces so that's a very good deal for us um, I see here what would you advise to get a homestead if you're living in a normal house I don't really understand the exact question so maybe you could um, go into detail what you mean um, where did I get the chickens from? Well, we imported um, hatching eggs from Germany and then I bought some hatching eggs in Sweden as well. But I wasn't really satisfied from the place in Sweden. And the breeders in Germany got their eggs directly from France, the breast eggs. So. Oh, how to get from normal house to living in a homestead. <sighs> well, you know, this maybe gives me the opportunity to talk a little bit about the whole concept of homesteading and everything. I don't know if uh, some of you guys follow Art and Brie on their channel. Um, we try to do it <laughs> when we have the time. It's an awesome channel. And um, just recently they posted a video um, about, you know, some frustrations and challenges and, and all of that on the homestead and you know this is something that I'll probably post a video about very soon too because homesteading is not easy it is uh, very challenging and difficult quite often um, just to get to the place where you want to be if you don't do it the right way it can um, it can actually be very uh, yet yeah, time-consuming of course but but also just pull out a lot of your resources and and we certainly have had a rough year um, with the farm you, you know this farm uh, we, I wish we would be way further than we are right now with the farming and homesteading thing so I, I'll probably talk about that more but it's it's not easy you know um, and there are different ways either you try to pull you know a, a town shop and the homestead at the same time till you can um, chump off or you have money saved up that gives you a buffer of a couple years and do that all um, but yeah it's, it's, it's not the easiest thing and and if you are a normal person you need to still be able to create some kind of income um, you know I, there was just a follow-up question if there's anything we've tried to do and failed you know we are constantly experimenting on the farm um, constantly constantly trying to to do certain things and test them out and 
um, basically here in our region all these methods that I share that I have myself learned from other uh, gardeners or farmers um, mainly through YouTube but also by visiting them and, and actually riding with them you know uh, those are not methods that are commonly used here around us. I went to farming school here, and, but but almost everything I do right now is different than what I learned in school. I'm trying to do it the permaculture way. And, um, you know, in that, I've had a lot of failure. Um, our garden has failed several years in a row before, um, you know, even, you know, right now, we having you know, we, we just have to figure out the whole financial aspect of working with heritage breed chickens. It's not easy. There's a reason why, um, you know, there's a reason why farmers use hybrid layers. And we want to go away, for example, from the killing of the roosters, which is 50,000 rooster chicks a day in Sweden are killed. We want to get away from that and have layers that are heritage breeds. So that's that's very hard. And right now, you know, um, we're really having to look into that. Is it possible for us to continue this um, with the money we get for the eggs and all of that? So um, there are a lot of things that you constantly fail with. And, you know, one time I watched uh, or I, I think I read a book from Joel Salatin and, and he was asked the question, how long did it take you when you started up to know this is actually going to work? And he himself, you know, he runs such a successful um, farm and such such a successful business now but he himself said that it took him two to three years him and his wife before they knew we are gonna make it uh, financially so, so it is hard it is rough for everybody and um, you know um, right now it's, it's it's rough for our family as well and there are a lot of it's, it's challenging to do you know, to produce an income on a on a farm or homestead when you s start up first. So let's see here if there are any other people. see here lots of questions um, yeah <laughs> a lot of emotions there from your side um, hi guys thank you I see I'll, I'll take a few more questions here um, if you guys can ask specific questions um, then try to answer a couple more questions really appreciate you guys tuning in um, in the beginning I shared a little bit about this whole mining thing so our garlic yield this year versus last year yeah um, I think last year we had a really 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 good harvest um, big garlics this year was smaller garlics because uh, I think because we never watered and it barely ever rained right now. It's raining uh, the first time in a long time Which is really good all the fields are brown so that's great, but um, We still had an okay yield the problem was last year something went wrong when we dried the garlic and 90% of the whole harvest rotted so that's gonna Be done differently this year So we had quite good yield. I'm gonna um, show you guys some footage of it hanging there um, and um, figure that out yeah it wasn't even black garlic it just rotted <laughs> um, okay let's see beehives on our homestead do we have beehives on your homestead well you see I've, I've said this many times um, our neighbors they have 200 beehives and, and so that has always been my answer and now they're moving away uh, we just found this out a couple months ago 
um, they're selling their farm they have sold it already they have sold their business uh, they are leaving the country actually and there won't be any bees around so you know I can't do everything and we have our hands full with all the projects and experiments that we're doing already but I would love we love honey we would love to continue to have fresh honey and we need bees on the homestead so a friend of ours offered to help me with it but I don't know yet we'll see we'll see we'll see um, I would love to learn it I know nothing about bees well I know something about bees but nothing about making honey so I'll we'll have to see um, where did you read learn about the way you're gardening your strawberries uh, that's uh, I visited Paul Gauchi who um, who did the back to Eden film documentary and um, he explained that to me and I've also seen it on some videos online and we've tested it and it works really great he just does it like that so search Paul Gauchi strawberries or something like that back to Eden strawberries um, we'll see okay hi guys in Louisiana we got family there Do you guys use pickaroons or hookaroons for moving logs and splits? Have you tried the husky one yet? Yeah, you know, we use some of that stuff. I'm really bad at the English terminology there, like what they're called really and all of that. Um, so so I don't want to do it here and embarrass myself on the live stream. I'll, I'll hopefully make a video on that. But we have some tools that we, I mean, my dad uh, used to mill uh, for 12 years uh, full time. So yeah, he has some... Um, some ha, hi there to Norway well let's see if we can take a couple more questions I really appreciate all of you guys tuning in this is so awesome uh, to have this community here with you guys online community uh, let's see no the somebody asked about the mining company the mining company is in Australia based company I think now it's called European Cobalt something uh, that's what I think wow you guys are really all over the place Portugal Wales Hawaii that's awesome uh, let's see here one more question and then I gotta go Canada Highlands of Scotland wow hey man I'm jealous I want to come visit the Highlands Slovenia Yeah, yeah, you tuned in for to the live stream a little too late, but you can watch it all. This is going to upload to YouTube, so you can uh, watch it all again in a few minutes when, when it's uploaded after we hang up. <laughs> How do you find a man who likes to homestead? <laughs> well, you know, I guess you just have to... Be patient uh, for the right person to come along. You know, this is the whole homesteading thing. It, it kind of developed within my wife and me um, as well. It uh, took a while, you know, to, to just end up where we are now. So, yeah, I was speechless. Okay, let's take one more question. I know I've said that before. Let's take one more question. Let's see. What was my profession before? Well, you know, I have uh, I worked a town shop and I um, did a lot of landscaping and uh, paper stone work, some carpentry work, stuff like that. Um, so um, yeah, I ran my own business, work as a subcontractor. And that's what I've done for a while. But then I, I was in uh, full-time employed by a uh, church before. And right now you guys know that I'm working as a pastor as well. Doing that um, on the side here in Sweden. So, yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate that. Hope you like this uh, live update. Um, we'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Hope you have a good day. And... Uh, 
I will keep you guys updated on this whole mining thing and everything. Really excited about the rain that's falling right now. Um, we really, really need it. The garden and everything, the hay fields, everything is really dry. So, hope to see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.